All right, so this is where they put the dead birds from inside. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. There's about 30,000 birds in here. It's just insane, the size of this building. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, she's not in a good way, is she? Yeah. I don't think she's gonna make it through the night. I mean, she's so much smaller than all of the others, so I wonder whether or not she's been able to feed. She's probably just been left here. Um, I don't think she could reach. I've no. seen often what the farmers do is just come through and, you know, cull them, snap their necks, throw them yeah. in a dead bin. It's upsetting. Like, I want to help this bird. And I don't know what to do to help this bird because they're going to die soon. Like if anyone saw this chicken just in another situation, they'd help the chicken. Most people who are paying for this don't see this, it's hidden away from them. Yeah, people don't know, it's the, you know, the industry hides this, the farmers hide this, people have perception of chickens in fields. And that's why we feel that we need to come in here and, and actually document this because yeah. it's so wrong. Yeah, in no other situation would there just be an animal suffering on the ground like this and no one helping them, you know, other than in a factory farm. It's all really bad leaving the birds like this, you know. Yeah. Just dying. Come over here. Ah. Oh. Look at this. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, people don't think about this when they're going to the chicken shop or the, they're buying the chicken breast from the supermarket. They're not visualizing this at all, are they? No. Oh. So they're funding these poor little baby birds, funding an industry that causes them so much suffering. And that's all this bird would have known is just a life of suffering and then passed away. And she's about 20 days old. 20 days of suffering and then death. Her body's still warm. She's only recently passed away. Poor baby. Sorry, baby. Look how many dead birds are in here. It's like every uh, 10 foot or so. Yeah. You get another dead bird or yeah. another dying bird. They're, they're yeah. here, there, there. Yep. I wasn't expecting so many. Yeah, so just peppered along the floor every few meters are just either suffering birds or warm dead bodies. And there's eight more sheds here, so it just makes you think how many more suffering birds are in those sheds and warm dead bodies that they'll drag out and throw in the bin in the morning, you know? I just can't bear this. It's just awful to witness it. Yeah, when you talk about these birds, like they display amazing traits of intelligence at such a young age. Like even as small chicks, they're super smart little animals and they're emotional beings. And you know, they're really protective of their chicks, but just in here, they can't display any of their natural behaviors. Like all they know is suffering and misery. The, there's feces everywhere, the ammonia in the air, machines pumping, like, they just, they don't know happiness in here, you know? And they can experience happiness, they can experience joy, but in here all, all they know is suffering and misery and, and all of this just so someone can have a five minute meal. Like, if that's not one of the biggest injustices on earth right now, I don't know what is.
Alright, so this is where they put the dead birds from inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. These poor babies. These are the forgotten victims. 